Welcome back. The show's called Brand Equity and I'm Sonali Krishna. The sixth season of the Indian Premier League is underway and the ratings have advertisers and media planners baffled. Whether the numbers stack up or not is not the debate this time round. The discussion revolves around how does one dissect them? How does one juxtapose this season's numbers with the previous ones, considering TAM's increased sample size, digitization which is underway and multiple feeds leading to viewer fragmentation? Nikhil Sivadas and Tara Kapoor explain. <laughs> Welcome to the Eden Gardens here, always a special venue when you're playing cricket. And a warm welcome especially to our Indian viewers as we see Kolkata. Is the Indian Premier League, once touted as the poster boy of the cricketing world, quickly turning into a white elephant? If recent ratings are anything to go by, then the question is not an unreasonable one. Three weeks into IPL 6 and the first 16 matches managed to garner a cumulative rating of just 3.5 on Setmax and Sony 6, with Setmax alone mustering a measly 2.8 TVR. That's a 10% drop in ratings in comparison to Season 5 and a 20% drop in comparison to IPL 4, two seasons where the ratings were lacklustre to begin with. So what's the excuse this time around? If you look at IPL ratings this year versus last year, it is quite a concern that the ratings are down. We are not yet sure why the ratings are down. Uh, there are more markets getting covered. There is, there is more number of channels covering it, with H, especially HD feeds which are covering it and there are no ratings for uh, ratings for that. And there is whole digitization of the market. Almost 35 cities, 38 cities have gone on digitization and no panel will be ready to uh, reflect the, you know, the reality of how the market is shaping up with digitized versus analog, analog signals. So uh, 10 to 15 percent down is definitely a matter of concern. The main bone of contention for broadcasters Sony and media agencies is how the TAM data should be dissected this time around. The confusion is on three counts. A. The fact that digitization has not fully panned out. B. The fact that TAM has increased its sample size to include below 1 lakh towns. And C. The fact that IPL viewership is being split between HD and the mainstream feeds. Hence, all stakeholders, be it advertisers, media agencies or the broadcaster itself are clueless on how the property should be evaluated and whether the performance of IPL 6 is at par, below par or actually better than the previous year. Very clearly, there are some answers which TAM also needs to start giving in that on the expanded, you know, probably the, the panel, which the, the new panel with the guard has not stabilized and it needs more time to stabilize because that is the question which we are asking internally ourselves when you look at numbers that where is this audience? If they're not watching IPL, they're not watching GC, then every, every genre is shrunk. All right. So, so those are some of the unanswered questions and hopefully over a period of time will stabilize. But if you look at from our perspective, okay, when you do random district studies or you speak to people around, this IPL has probably had the you know, interest levels back to season three and uh, season uh, two, season three levels. I don't think uh, uh, there's any issue with the data per se. If that is so, then we ourselves could have taken uh, the, the necessary steps uh, to make sure the fact that the data is reliable in nature. What is the comparison that they're doing to indicate uh, that the data is unstable in nature? Second is that uh, whether uh, the behavior is getting affected by multiple other factors rather than just uh, uh, the, uh, just the environment that they think uh, they are presenting their content in. So I guess uh, in this kind of environment, it's important the fact that uh, the broadcaster then talks to TAM and, uh, and uh, uh, in indicates what their uh, point of views or issues are. And I'm sure the TAM will be uh, having a necessary dialogue with them to ensure the fact that they understand uh, how the behavior is actually happening. So the insights derived from analysis can actually help them much more than actually making a bland statement saying that, uh, that the information is wrong. While the rating agency and the broadcaster are engaged in that war of words, it's the advertisers who have been left lost at sea. For starters, the big issue at hand is understanding the ROI. And for brands like Godrej who have questioned investing in IPL in the past, the lack of clarity could in turn lead to IPL 7 treading on thin ice once again. 
given any uh, crash like this in terms of uh, rating, what we plan, what we propose, what we expect and what we forecast. And uh, this kind of a crash we're not, we're not uh, anticipated. In the end, uh, it's like buying a Persian carpet, right? You don't know whether you paid the right price or you got gypped in the process. And there is more trouble brewing. Confusion in ratings aside, advertisers are also miffed with Sony for not giving them inventory on Sony 6, which is an HD feed. Sony, of course, is selling Sony 6 separately, which is leading to even more advertiser angst. As we speak, negotiations are still on. The question is, will Sony give in? Sony Max should have given Sony 6 HD also as a part of the package. They shouldn't have sold separately. Because when I'm looking at eyeballs, that particular segment who is watching Sony 6 HD, that viewership I'm losing. And I'm losing those eyeballs. So it's a loss because I'm paying such a high price to Sony Max for getting the viewership. I'm buying the property, IP as a property. And if I'm not getting one channel, one feed, so I am I'm at a loss. In fact, uh, we are considering a legal action now against Sony Max about this particular issue. The basic assumption is if SD is and HD, you are bifurcating the two feeds, then SD will go down if HD is gone up because the total viewership is not increased. Right? The total consumers haven't increased. You can't tell the advertisers there is no data and there is, uh, uh, you know, we don't know whether there is a fall in SD or HD and yet you pay for a new channel more. I mean, it just doesn't make any financial sense. Well, while you digest that, we're taking a short break, but don't go anywhere.